Well, hello people and welcome back to the channel. It's appreciated. I enjoy you guys stopping by and hanging out with me. Uh, today we got a few things I want to cover. One of the first things uh, while I'm getting chores done here is, uh, yeah, we're going to be taking a look at the two sows today uh, and seeing where we've got in the last week. Yeah, should be pretty, uh, pretty good. We got a lot done. Uh, I am very excited to share it with you, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. All right, so on to the big news, people. That's right. Over at Starfall, my favorite Discord, we got a promotion going on for a Tuso Toothless. Actually, a pair of them. That's right. If you guys uh, want to pop over at Starfall, I will throw the link down at the... Uh, at the comments or the uh, info down below and if you guys want you can pop over check out the promotion uh, you can get two two so toothless eggs really good stats for two cryopods that's right the biggest the most majestic creature in the game and you can own it for two cryopods that's right so pop on over to Starfall Check out the details on my Tuso page. Yeah, it's under partner chat, or not partner chat, but partners. Uh, just go ahead and click on the Tuso section, uh, do some reading, find out what's necessary, and yeah, I'll get you a pair of awesome Tusos really, really quick. Well, there's a bit of a line. I can't say really, really quick. There's probably two, three day wait. Uh, but we will get to you guys ASAP. There's been a big turnout so far. I'm pretty happy with it. It's going great. Uh, main objective for me is to get my animals out there so you guys can enjoy them. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing. That's right. So, anyway, we got lots of things going on today. Uh, I'm working on anglerfish. I'm working on... Uh, Caprosuchus, and I'm working on uh, quite a few other things. The Dire Bear. Uh, yeah, we got things going on everywhere right now. Uh, my two so toothless, my 228, uh, uh, they're growing up. They're about 80% done, and we're going to be uh, using those guys to breed the eggs that we're going to be uh, using in the booster program. That's right. So. These big majestic creatures that you guys are seeing here, that's right, they're going to be uh, up for trade on uh, the Discord. So anyway, like I was saying, uh, as I'm getting chores done here real quick, we are working on the Tuso Toothless. So what we're going to do is we'll go over in uh, Arc Smart Breeder, uh, the booster pair. So we can look at the stats and show you guys what you're going to get if you are interested in the program. Okay, so let's get going. I'll pop over to Arc Smart Breeder. We'll get that fired up. And uh, yeah, we'll do some talking. Sounds yeah. good. All right, people. We'll see you in just a few seconds. Well, all right, people. We are in here at the uh, Arc Smart Breeding. We are going to take a look at this tube cell that I've been talking about. That's right. This is the program, the um, promotional program that we got going on at Starfall. This is what you can get for just two cryopods, people. That's it. All you got to do is pop in and uh, get signed up and uh, place your order. And we will definitely get to getting you an awesome two cell. So anyway... Uh, we're looking at 61 health. Uh, it's about an average of 35,640 uh, health. Uh, we're looking at 2,010 for stamina at a 57 rating. Uh, we're looking at weight. Uh, food and ox are both zero because I cut those out. Ox, then, yeah, obviously. It's a water animal, so you don't get them. Anyway, so we cut food out and we got 48 weight now. So. We're uh, looking at 15,000, or 15,000, 1,568 pounds. Alrighty, uh, moving down to the damage. Okay, so here's where it gets interesting, people. Uh, as part of a perk, 
uh, for the two cell booster pair that you can get for two cryopods, I'm throwing in a chance for a 63 melee. That's right. I'm going to be breeding this female. All right. With, let's see here. And I shall show you. Okay. So, as you can see here, this one's got the 63 damage on it. So what I'll do is I'll breed a 228 with this 230, and you'll get a chance, a 55% chance of picking up the 63. That's right. And if you get lucky, maybe you'll even mutate. Who knows? It's all gonna be determined by your luck, I think. You know, if you get lucky, that's awesome. But anyway, this is a solid Tuso. I am very proud to have made this. I'm very proud to get this out there to you guys. I hope you enjoy it. I hope it keeps you safe and sound in the water, which can be pretty dangerous. Uh, yeah, so let's, uh, let's jump back into the game. I'll give you guys a tour of what we got going on inside the game with the Tusos and the animals that we got going, uh, that we're working on breeding. Alrighty, I wanted to get in here and just get you guys looking at these numbers. They're pretty impressive. Alright, so anyway, back to the game. See you in there. Alrighty, people, we are back in the game. Uh, yeah, these guys didn't make the cut. Yeah, they, yeah, didn't make the cut. So anyway... Uh, we got lots going on. Lots going on. This is one of my little side projects. Caprasucus. That's right. We got uh, really good stats. I'm in the process of putting them together. Uh, we're going to make these guys into a fun little ride. That's right. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever messed around with Caprasucus, but they're actually pretty fun. Yeah, they, yeah they're kind of slow. You know, they trot along, but man, when you want them to jump, they take off, and they take off pretty good. All right, so Caprasucus. We're gonna run these eggs up real quick and toss them in the incubation room. Get those going, and I'll hatch them here in a little bit, and we'll see what happens. And then hopefully we'll talk about some stat transfers and, and what we got on these guys. Yeah, so it takes about an hour to incubate them. I'm gonna see uh, if we can get these guys done, and yeah. Uh, maybe let you guys take a peek at them either in this video or definitely in the next one because where are my eggs going? I wish they'd fix this bug. I wish they'd fix it Anyway, they'll pop back. There they go They'll pop back where I threw them down, but they just walk away an egg walking away All right, so anyway back over here to the Caprasucas. We're gonna keep working on those guys. They're pretty important to me right now. Uh, we got these dire bears going on right now. We got some pretty good stats on that. Uh, we'll take a look at those guys probably next video uh, and see where their stats are. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing uh, from start to finish, okay? The Caprasucas are all broke down into in individual stats. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to breed them uh, individually, stack uh, the stats into one animal, and yeah, then we'll produce a mate for that said animal. And then what that line will be is locked in. Locked in just like these little dudes. That's right. These guys are awesome. We got the frogs locked in. Uh, they're doing really good. These are some of the colors we're working on right now. They're pretty, I like them. So over here, we got uh, the little frog uh, paddock uh, where we're growing up all the youngins. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the stats on the, our best male right now. Uh, female, I should say. And uh, we'll take a look at that in our breeder too. Uh, these guys are finished, so there's not a whole lot I could teach you about uh, what we did. So that's why I'm working with the Caprasucus and the Dire Bears. They're not finished. Uh, I haven't worked on them. So I'll be able to walk you guys through each and every step. That's right. Okay, so we got our little paddocks here. Uh, we're going to be having a lot of females uh, breeding in these little paddocks. And uh, yeah, we're going to be pushing the mutations on frogs. Uh, I definitely will enjoy that. 
my tribe mate Bash is the one working on those guys. So I'm very curious to see how he does. It's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. So anyway, like I said, here in a little bit we'll pop in and I'll show you the stats on those frogs. It's pretty impressive there too. So anyway, uh, I ran out of room in my baby pen. So I'm over here using a backup pen and we're going to get some more babies raised up. Yeah. So yeah, I got a mutation on health with this guy. I'm pretty impressed with that. We're going to be working on getting more of them. Yeah, because I want to push health and melee. That's my big ticket. Uh, I think weight, I might take up to around 58, uh, maybe 60. And that'll be about it. So, anywho, we are uh, over here at the backup pen, like I said. We're working on uh, babies. I got dire bear babies behind me. We got megatheriums around here. We got all kinds of things going on. I wish I, uh, yeah, it would take me an hour to show you guys just all the projects we got going on. So I'm trying to hit the most important ones. I want you guys to know that we're going to be walking through the process of getting these guys bred. We're uh, consolidating stats and mutating them. Yeah, should be good fun. Okay, so like I was saying, I'm going to jump over and get you guys into the smart breeder. And we'll take a look at this frog real quick. Alright, see you there. Alrighty, people. So, anywho, uh, we're in Arc Smart Breeding again. Uh, we're taking a look at the frog, the Bielza Bufo. I can never say that name right, so we're just going to refer to them as the frogs. Okay, so, as you can see here, we got 51 in health. That comes out at 2,464.1. Not bad for a frog, not bad. We're going to improve on that in the near future, though. Stamina, we're looking really good at 58. Uh, we're doing uh, 1,292 in stamina. That's really good for a frog. Okay, so it's an aquatic animal, uh, hence the name of our tribe, Breeding Sea Monsters. Uh, we're basically an aquatic group, so that's what we like to focus on. Our aquatic animals are our passion. So, anyway, we removed food. That's out of the equation, so that we, uh, we can mutate as far as we can and as far as we want. Uh, weight, we're looking at 320 with a rating of 50. That's not too bad. I'd like to improve that a little bit more, but that's not bad. All right, so we got a monster of melee damage. That's right, 452.7 at a 61, per, uh, 61 rating. That's awesome, people. That is a really good frog. So what we're going to do uh, with this frog, we've got the female locked in and the male. So our stats are locked in. We can reproduce these as much as we want. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the female and we're gonna clone it about five to 10 times. That'll give us a beginning of a good population uh, for breeding. Uh, we want a lot of females, uh, the more the better, so that we can get more tries at getting mutations. That's right. So anyway, I am uh, pretty much just thrilled about these frogs. I, I couldn't be happier. We got them locked in. Uh, let's get you guys back in the game. We'll get this wrapped up and we'll get you guys out of here. Alright, see you guys in there. Well, people, we are back. And those three Caprasuchus eggs, they hatched. That's right. We got us uh, some Capros to take a look at. So we're going to pop out and we're going to throw these guys out and take a look at them real quick. And I'll explain to you guys why they turned out the way they did. That's right. So, anywho, I know I've got all these Tuso tails sticking through my floor. Yeah, well, it's a little crowded in there right now. That's my baby tank. So, they're all growing up. Uh, we're getting close. To, they're getting close to being full size. So, we're going to have to watch out for that part. You know, as soon as they get grown, I'll have to move them out into the other paddocks that way they can uh, get into the breeding programs okay so anywho uh, we're gonna get these guys fed now this guy right here is, is something to be proud of we got our level one right now unfortunately it's a male 
it would be better if it was a female because you would take your mainline male and breed it back into this level one to clean your mutations. That's right. When you get into the maternal and paternal uh, calves, you're looking at 20 out of 20 mutations, okay? Then it locks. It won't let you mutate anymore. It won't let you do anything like that. So you got to clean your line. Then you breed it back into this level one with colors, because I like colors. And all my level ones, I usually have solids. So anyway, oh, and uh, color sets. You know, cotton candy, Joker. Cotton candy's my favorite. Uh, so yeah, uh, we're gonna go from there. Okay, so like I was saying, we got one more to take a look at here. So we got two single statters, right? So we didn't get any com uh, combinations. We didn't get any stat consolidation. So, kind of a strikeout. We didn't get uh, what we wanted, but we did get a level one. So, we are pretty happy about that. Now, if you, as I said earlier, if you look at the maternal and paternal, you'll see zero out of 20. Zero out of 20, right? Okay. So once those numbers hit 20 out of 20 or more, you can't mutate. You gotta clean that line. And then uh, you would take your male, your main line male, your best male, and you bring it back to a clean female. Okay? So you pick up the zero on the female side of the maternal. Okay? And you keep all of your mutations on the male because he's the one that is easiest to change out. He's the one that's going to be the quickest to get uh, in the breeding program and out of it so you want him to mutate you're only replacing one animal instead of your entire breeding stock that's right so anyway pretty proud of this outcome we're making baby steps that's what we're going to keep on doing yes indeed okay so like i was saying i've got a collection of single stat caprasukas so what we got to do is we got to combine all of these stats onto one animal. And I'm going to walk you guys through exactly what I'm doing to get there. So this is a, basically, it's kind of like a follow-up video on uh, the whole breeding aspects of level ones, etc. So we're going to, uh, we're going to definitely uh, work on getting that info out to you guys so you better understand what's going on in ARC. All right. So let's get you guys out of here. I appreciate you. I appreciate your time. You're the best. If you guys got any questions uh, about Starfall or the program or anything like that, put it in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Okay. Uh, I enjoy my time with you. I hope you do the same. Uh, spending some time with Dibbles. All right, people. We'll see you in the next video. All right. Take care.